Good morning, everybody. Good if you're morning. at a, thank you. You're at a chair that's not connected to something. Back up a little bit. We're gonna try a different thing because in class, if you're in a student desk and it doesn't move, that's a thing. You're okay with that. If you're choosing to do it on the floor, I like doing it in a PE because I get to lay down and my whole body contacts the floor. I feel it. So right now, if you're thinking about, oh, I don't know if I should or whatnot, all day long, I'm claiming that your hands are going to be on the desk, and that's what you're going to do for the whole day. You might be hands on your computer. So let's try and find a posture where you're not leaning against the back of your chair. Feel for maybe the first time in a while that you've sat upright. What's touching the ground? What's touching the chair? That's what we're going to dive into today is, is noticing the body and bringing awareness to it, okay? So close your eyes if you already haven't, if you haven't already, and that will cause some changes in the body. So I'm gonna let you just kind of feel what that felt like to have the eyes closed. And see what it feels like right now to be still. And with that stillness, I'm predicting that thoughts are gonna arise. what happens so with mindfulness maybe 15 seconds before the first thought pops into your head it might take you on a journey and you might be lost for a little while and thought that's okay I'm going to put my hands on my legs and notice how your shoulders change position. So it's bringing awareness, noticing your body. Some of us for the first time because we're rushing to go somewhere. We're on our way to get to class, got to get breakfast made, do all those things. Require that focus, right, in the morning, such focus. And now you get a chance to just kind of Kind of be here now with the body, feeling your body. Is your spine upright? And if you, you you move the spine, that's part of the practice. You're kind of noticing what happens if you lean forward a little bit, you lean back, and you're giving your mind like a job to do, to bring awareness to your body. And if it's not exciting, that's, yeah, okay. But it literally is the greatest, you are literally the greatest person in the world. Like your body is amazing. However you got to school today, could be in a wheelchair, could be on crutches, could be walking, driving, riding, skateboarding, whatever it is, that's the deal. That's like the gift that you have right now, this body. So we're going to bring awareness to it, to notice it. So I'm asking you to kind of feel your head with your mind, kind of noticing the hair. How is your chin? Is it up? Is it down? Maybe feel your ears. Some people can wiggle their ears. And in feeling your ears, do you feel your mask maybe hooked around your ears? The mask on your face and the air. Paying attention to the air as it enters the body, leaves the body. is one way to do mindfulness, but today we're focusing all our awareness that we can on our body. We're going to do a body scan. So we're traveling down the neck. How tight is it today? Is it loose? Is it, is it normal? Some people get injuries and they really notice the neck. Other times you don't even notice it. Let your awareness travel down the, the the neck to the shoulder blades. Cruise down to the right shoulder. Feel how your elbow's hanging down from the shoulder. Go into the forearm and into your hand where it might be on your leg, might be on your desk, might, wherever it's at. Feel what your hand's feeling, noticing it. Now come back up the arm, 
into the shoulder, traveling across the, the scapula, the shoulder blades, and into your left arm. Travel down that, maybe down the bicep. Maybe you feel your tricep right now. How's your elbow? Cruising around the forearm to the hand. Can you feel all the fingers in contact with something? Just the palm? Is there more weight on your left hand than your right hand? And travel back up the arm. Maybe the same way you came down. You're scanning the body for whatever you can notice about it. Can you feel your shirt? If you're wearing a hoodie, you can feel it on your arms. Whatever you can notice is what you're doing right now. That's the practice. So you travel up the shoulder. Now into the ribs. Take a nice big breath. Let it out. See how the ribs move. Do it again. Do they go up? Do they do they move like if you're a compass, do your ribs move east west? Or do they move north south? Or both? Sometimes we'll have a sneeze or a cough during during my post. That's cool. notice a lot in the body when you're coughing or you're sneezing. Okay, so go from the ribs down through your organs. Probably don't feel your organs. Some people can do belly breaths. Can you breathe all the way down to your belly? Fills up with air. The diaphragm pushes it up. Maybe you breathe through your nose, your mouth. So now from the belly, you're going to go into what's called the pelvic floor. You've got all these muscles that hold you upright. Travel around the right hip. Feel that sit bone. That's the little bump that's touching the chair or laying on the floor. Down your right leg. Into your right foot. Feel it on the floor. Where is it touching? Is it the ball of your foot or your heel? And you're going to travel back up your right leg to your knee, through your femur, where all your white blood cells come from. The amazing immune system response that you have from all your bones, your skeleton. Feel the hip socket. Maybe you move a little bit to bring more awareness to the body. Cross the pelvic floor, through your hip bones, to your left ball and socket. It's the only ball and socket in the body where the femur and the hip bone connect. You go down the thigh, through the knee. You feel your hand, your left hand now, sitting on your lap. down the shin bone to your foot. Now we'll cruise back up. We're going to go all the way up the leg to the knee, to the hip. You're traveling up through your hip bone, up through the ribs, into the spine. And stop at the heart. Put your hand on your heart. Give it a shot. With your hand on your heart, I want you to feel what nice big breath is. Feel all that movement. Pay attention to it with mindful awareness. I hope you're feeling some gratitude for this gift, this body, this perfect body that you have. Appreciate the work here today. Good job, everybody. Have a great day. How was it? Good. Great. Anybody struggling? Raise your hand if it was hard.
I heard some movement. I was like, dang, that kid's having trouble. You having trouble? Yeah. It's tough to just stop what you're doing and feel the body. Oh. But I say if it doesn't work, don't do it. But when I was a little soccer player, I told my coach what's up about me dribbling around cones. They go, bro, we, we need to play soccer here. That's why I signed up for I'm a soccer player. I'm not a dribbling around no cones. That's how stubborn I was because I thought I knew. And then day after day, I saw the, the value of practice. And I got so good at dribbling, and I owe a lot of that to those cones. But at the time, you would have told me that that would make me a great soccer player? Come on. Really? We're going to dribble around cones? So if you can this year, I know it's going to be hard. Give it a shot. Follow my, my guidance and see if you notice if you're less stressed out. And if it works, do it. All right? Yeah. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate you so much. Mr. Armstrong, thank you very, very much for being through this. And, and you guys are amazing. My uh, is every other week or? Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. And, and any time that you have, we would love to have you back. Thank here. you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you.